In another sign of global progress, some government agencies in one country are no longer using the term shark attacks. They say it's a stigmatizing phrase that unfairly prejudices people against these subsurface carnivores. Instead, officials are referring to shark attacks as, or we're quoting now, negative interactions, like when a great white chews off your leg, it's a negative interaction. Australia's Department of Primary Industries just announced that change. One University of Sydney researcher said the move is appropriate because most shark attacks are more like small bites than actual attacks. So how to assess this? Well, Dave Portnoy is most famous for starting the sports site Barstool and is an online gaming mogul, but he's also, and few knew this, a renowned shark expert. In fact, he's the author of the book, Sharks Have Feelings Too. So it's to Dave Portnoy we go to understand this change. Dave Portnoy, thanks so much for coming on tonight. So how negative an interaction is a shark attack, would you say? I mean, it's really negative, but it's negative for the shark. You're in his territory. He's, he lives in the water. Humans don't belong in the water. So a shark is minding his own business and a human way that would be like a stranger walking into your house is traumatizing and it's negative for the shark. Well, that's a completely different perspective that most Americans don't have. They imagine for some reason that they can kind of wade into the ocean without getting eaten. But you're saying that's a violation of the territorial integrity of sharks. I equate it to me. My, my domains, you know, social, social media and Twitter and I, I swim around and when somebody doesn't know anything about me and bumps into me and I bite them, they say they were attacked, but you came into my house, into my territory. If you look at the numbers, uh, what, there's 10 shark attacks, 10 deaths a year. There's 100 million sharks that are getting killed every year. The sharks aren't the ones attacking people. People are attacking the sharks. Those numbers speak for themselves. Body surfing is a home invasion. You know, I don't think most people have looked at it from that perspective. Now, you're famous as a, a media, um, you know, a media mogul, in effect, and an online uh, gaming titan. When did you become a shark expert? Well, we had a debate. Some people are equating sharks. They were, they were trying to paint them as evil. A couple of my colleagues equating them to snakes, which is just incorrect. Snakes are nasty, vile creatures. If you read my book, a bestseller, I may add, Sharks Have Feeling Too, I, snakes jump out of bushes. They surprise you. They do all yeah. this stuff. They live on land. Not a shark. A shark tries to mind its own business. Without a shark, the ocean falls apart. They, the, the entire ecosystem, and it'll trickle right down. They're the greatest predator that ever lived until humans and shark fin soup arrived. So uh, we got in a debate. They said, if you're so smart, write a book about it. And I said, you know what? I'm going to do that. And I wrote It's actually a children's book, but it does have profanity. But it is a children's book. Figure that one out. But it was a number one bestseller. <laughs> How many children bought it? Do you have any sense of that? Did BookScan tell you? No, I didn't get the demo on that. But again, if you look what category it was in, it was education and children's book. I didn't, hey, yeah, they're going to probably learn the F word at some point. They may have learned it a little earlier here. I, I just wonder what, so you go from one career to a completely, you become a zoologist essentially overnight and then a, the best selling zoologist in the nation. What kind of preparation, education, research did it take to become a world renowned authority on sharks? took me two years to write that book. Really? T explain your writing regimen. Well, I did a lot of research, and I looked for every pro-shark piece of propaganda that I could find, and I put it all in the book, and then I, one of the guys who's a very cartoonist, good cartoonist, wrote child, or drew child cartoons depicting, you know, fat sharks and mean sharks and angry sharks and all sorts of things, and it turned into what uh, many are calling a modern literature masterpiece. If you read the reviews, they don't lie. You know, you, I, I think you make a really good point that Amazon reviews may be the most honest assessment of, of anything. So this is our generation's Moby Dick. It's written by Dave Portnoy. And it's our honor to promote this best-selling account of Shark Life. Dave Portnoy, thank, thank you. you. New respect. Always a pleasure. Respect the lot. sharks, respect the ocean. <laughs> well, hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.